Hi, thanks for joining my little crafty secret for the March 2021 Smash Our Stash collaboration. It was Creator's Choice. So I will be smashing eyelets, twine, acetate, chunky glitter, key rings, and scrap Christmas paper. For this project, I wanted to make Christmas shaker tags. I used Cricut Access to choose images that had large enough wells to insert my shaker elements. As you can see, some of these tags are not actual shaker tags. My Cricut machine didn't cut all the images all the way in some of the paper for some reason, and the acetate, I had lost some of the acetate. I'm not sure how that happened. But rather than just scrapping my entire project idea, I decided to make the best of what I had. And surprisingly, even with it coming out the way it did, there are some uh, there was a few tags that I really ended up liking a lot. For example, this clear Santa Claus. I actually like this one and I was not thinking about making this type of tag. I made some mistakes along the way. Uh, one mistake was that I did not add enough glitter in the shaker. Another mistake was I did not de-static the acetate. And that was only for one of them, thankfully. And so a lot of the glitter stuck to the acetate. And another mistake I made was that I didn't wait for the glue to dry. And so some of the glitter is stuck to the sides. Now I decided to add a second tag to the back. And that was because I didn't have a place to actually indicate who this gift is for. So I wanted to do that. And I wanted to have something a little extra, something more substantial to the tag. So that's why I added um, the keychain. And these Christmas tree tags are actually the only ones that came out the way that I had envisioned it. And I really like the way that these came out too. What's nice about this tag is that I'm able to write with a sharpie marker in the to and from section and the recipient can reuse this tag. With this tag, the shaker well wasn't large enough for the glitter that I used. Maybe with different shaker elements or smaller glitter, it would have worked out better. Well, that's the end of my project share. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to visit the description box below to find links to the other collaborators who are taking part in this collaboration. Until next time.